Hello, uh, my name is Nicolas Karelis and I'm a new team leader here at the Paris Brain Institute. I'm originally from Greece and my background is in applied mathematics and physics. Uh, however, I very quickly became interested in understanding the brain function, so I pursued uh, a master's degree in uh, Berlin and in Bordeaux. Following that, I did my PhD in uh, Germany, where I studied the mechanisms that organize neuronal circuits during fear and during sleep. In the last few years, I moved to Basel in Switzerland, where I shifted my focus to studying neuromodulators such as dopamine and serotonin and trying to understand how they organize the activity of the amygdala, a core part of the emotional brain. I joined the Institute because of its unique multidisciplinary profile. The Institute is hosting teams ranging from cognitive and computational neuroscience to neurophysiology and clinical studies. And this makes it a unique environment in which we can do cross-disciplinary collaborations and take our research to the next level. As part of my recruitment, uh, we've been offered all the resources we need to perform our research and we have access to all the cutting-edge facilities of the Institute, which are a necessary precondition for accelerating the pace of our research. In our upcoming work, we will build on my previous research and we will focus on understanding the fundamental mechanisms underlying the organization of neuronal circuits. Specifically, we will be focusing on neuromodulators and how their combinations influence the activity of target regions and how they contribute to the implementation of neuronal computations during behavior. In parallel, we will be studying the mechanisms underlying the synchronization between the brain and the body. And specifically, we will be focusing on how breathing and the heart rate is influencing the activity and the synchronization of different brain regions. Our work aims to understand the fundamental principles of the organization and function of the brain. And this will provide the basis for understanding how pathophysiological states arise. 